Spreadsheet Web has an extensive array of tools that can be used to create a plethora of various online documentations and forms. During the course of this video, I will lead you through the creation of a fully functional automobile insurance crash report. Using this form, a user will be able to submit all necessary documentation to receive an insurance claim on a car that has been through an accident. This is an Excel file from which the application will be created. As you can see, it includes an extensive report of the car crash, asking for information regarding both parties involved in the accident, the policyholder of the insurance company, details of the accident, and even an optional submission of accident photos. Now to begin the conversion, simply head over to the Spreadsheet Web Ribbon and launch the wizard. All settings have been created prior to the beginning of this video to shortcut through the process, so we simply skip through up to the conversion. Once the conversion is done, we'll make sure to save the file, and then we can head over to the Spreadsheet Web Control Panel. From here, we press Add a Web Application, give our application a name, and browse our directories for the converted Excel file. Then we place the application in a group, and once we're done, we save the application, and we'll be forwarded back to our application list where we can open our newly uploaded application. Here you can see that our application is practically a mirror image of the Excel file, with only the inputs available for alterations. Also, the display range has been split into five separate pages. This allows for better organization of the input data. These pages are organized by next and back buttons found at the bottom of each individual page. Now I will fill out the claims form. and I will use the attachment input to attach pictures of the car accident. Then I will submit the insurance claim. Once it has been submitted I will receive this notification. Now we will fill out the application again with a new name so that we can have at least two records in the database. Then I'll submit this claim as well. Now we head back to the control panel where we can open up the data tab and make sure that we have selected the insurance claim form from the combo box. Here we can find all of the submitted records including our John Smith and Jane Doe that we just submitted. They'll be organized by the claim number which is the first input in the auto insurance claim report. From the options pop-up, we can create several custom statuses and corresponding colors. Then we save and close the options pop-up. Now we have the option to change the status of the records. For instance, we click on the status of John Smith and change it to pending, and then save. After we save, all the records will automatically be updated to display the alterations made. Now we can open up John Smith's record, and we can see that all the inputs have been saved in the record. Page 2, page 3, page 4, and page 5. From here, we can also view the images that were submitted by John Smith. We simply press the image button next to the attached files, and then choose either to save or open the file. And we will find the image that has been attached. Now, when a large quantity of records have been submitted, it becomes tedious to manually sort through each and every one. Therefore, Spreadsheet Web has created the option of downloading all selected records from the data tab. All we have to do is head over to the Data tab, 
and select the desired records and then download all selected records and save the Excel file to the desired location. Once it is done, we open up the downloaded file in Excel and we can see all of the records that have been submitted in the rows as well as the corresponding inputs aligned with the records. This has been a demo outlining the creation of an automobile insurance claim reporting system and database. For more videos displaying the specific functions and features of Spreadsheet Web, please check out our YouTube channel.